Welcome to the Lead Every Day Show. Our mission is to see a world well-led. And our strategy to get there? To empower leaders like you to lead every day. So let's get to work. We got the music banging. We're rolling into a weekend. I'm Randy Gravitt. I'm Mark Miller. And we're excited you've joined us today. Welcome to the Lead Every Day Show. We've been answering questions all week. Another week here of these cool questions we've been that people have been submitted submitting to us. And uh, this has been some fascinating conversations. Thanks for you know, you've, you've helped me learn some stuff this week. It's been really good. So we've kind of dialogued back and forth. Got a good question today uh, that came in from a leader. They're asking, what do I do? How do I build interpersonal relationships with the people I lead? Like the, the spirit behind it is I've got to hold all these people accountable. I've got all this direction. I'm giving them clarity and all this stuff, like expectations. And yet I still want to be friends with them. I, I, you know, how do I protect those interpersonal relationships? This is a good question. Yeah. And, and, people, and lead well. And, and lead well. And lead, and lead well. well. And, yeah. and, and people struggle with this. So uh, I, I you know, I'll, I'll start today by just saying something that we, we talked about a few years ago. Uh, I've had I've had, I had people come up to me and say, I, I mean, really on the opposite end of this, I don't think you can be friends with the people that you work with or the people that you lead, so to speak. And I always say, why would you not want to be friends with the people that you lead? I think You're only going to spend 40, 50, 60 hours a week with Every them. week of your life. I mean, this makes no sense to just to just punt this and say that this is not doable. But but yet it is you you gotta think about how to do this. And so yeah. let's, I mean you'll sub optimize your leadership. You if really you will. don't build if you don't have that community part. We we always talk about community and I'm I'll get off here for a second, but it's it's what separates really good teams from the rare air of high performance, right? It's that's the turbocharger of a team. So this is this is a big deal. It yeah. really is. So yeah, let's let's jump in here today. Well, I think I think uh, I want to honor the question and we're going to try to answer it, but I believe whoever submitted the question has created a false dichotomy. Mm. Uh, if, you, if you look at the actual wording, it, it's as if they're pitting. You have to pick one or the other. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have good relationships or I'm going to lead well. It's, yeah. it's a little bit of one of our fundamentals is to value results and relationships. And it's one of the things we see from uncommon leaders, the really best leaders. Um, they embrace the tension. There is tension, but there's also energy in that tension and in that friction. Mm. And it's a way you maximize performance is to value results and relationships. Well, and, and it starts with results, really. I mean, you are trying to do what you're trying to do. You're in business for revenue and profits, and not just revenue, but profits. Not even just business. If you're, or, if you're, you're a an NGO or a sports I mean, I, yeah, team, I was whoever. Say, all these schools, you got to have Any organization kids. exists to, to, to perform, produce to produce, results. to exactly. do something. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. But but there is this, uh, this other side that if we forget we're in the people business, so to speak, it's we forget that the people are the ones actually yeah, that, creating that, that's the what results. It's about. That's exactly they're, what it's they're, about. They're they're serving the guest and exactly. they're scoring yeah. the goals. If what, it's whatever a they're, whatever they're doing, yeah, that's exactly right. So it's important for us to understand this. And I will say this: to go back down the results and relationships uh, trail here for a second, you're going to lean one way or the other. I mean, sure. the person listening or the person struggling with this question may be a results oriented person. Like I don't have time for those relations. I don't think you have. You, I mean, you don't not have time. It's bad English, but you you got to make time for the people side of it, and it'll be harder for some people listening. You got to compensate for your bias. Well, the side. flip side is true as well. There's some people listening to this that are more relational, highly relational, and they are repulsed by, by the idea by goals of and results. goals and accountability, <laughs> and, and and yeah, you're going to be out of business pretty soon if you. So it's yeah, there's there is tension here, and I and I like. Yeah, I like but that it's reminder. a healthy tension. It's a tension to be managed. It is not a tension to to be eliminated. Yeah. So I would I, let's 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 make this tactical today. So if I've got a team of four or five people and I'm asking myself, I got I got to hold them accountable. We're trying to achieve these results, all this stuff. What can I do to build these relationships? I would say it starts by knowing people's story. If you know their story, it it's just. Uh, there's something powerful about knowing yeah. where they came from, what they're struggling with, what they're excited about, what their dreams are, who they're married to or who they live with or where they, you know, all that stuff, their story, it's it's now you have a teammate. You don't just have somebody on your team. You've got somebody that you're really, yeah. you're with them. Yeah, and I want to I want to add to that because I've, I've talked with leaders who tell me they have that type of relationship, but the team members don't know each other's mm -hmm. story. Yeah. So, so it, it's it's both and yeah. right. You want to have 
a relationship, but you want to foster community, right. which you mentioned earlier. And the the cornerstone of community is knowing and being known. Yeah, that's it's good. Fantastic when when everyone knows each yeah. other's story. So you you could even we could even tactically say let's put that on a meeting agenda where we're yep. we're, we're sharing some of those times oh, and every meeting that I lead or have <laughs> led for decades. There's going to be if it's a standing team, if yeah. it's a team where we're actually. Uh, have decided that building community is part of our strategy for yeah. high performance. Yeah. There will be some time on the agenda for knowing and being known. Yeah, and it can be as simple as like what what you got going on this weekend coming mm-hmm. up tomorrow. You guys are you know, and you got little stuff with kids and grandkids. I mean, like knowing that stuff, it it. I mean, it's just, it just it does foster that connection. Yeah, so it's I, hard to give up on somebody once you know their story. Yeah, once you know their story, I, I think that's a that's a good place to start with it. Uh, you got any, you got any other tactics, things that we can do to to you know to to well, uh, let's just chase that community uh, angle for another minute or two here. Uh, when we serve those on our team mm-hmm. and allow them to serve us, mm-hmm. when we help them with a project, when we we help. I have a friend of mine who said. One of the greatest moments in his career journey was when he had just joined the organization. He and his wife were moving, and his new boss showed up with food wow. and helped him on a Saturday morning. Yeah, like it's like this is this is strange. Yeah, but he loved it. Yeah, and he went on to build a career. But he said one of his first impressions was this is a place where serving is the norm. Yeah. That's a that's a way to strengthen those relationships. Yeah, I mean, and, and I'll I'll kind of go a little bit of side road here on this, but I remember when my mother in law passed away, and this is several years ago. We were I'm, I'm I actually was speaking at the funeral, and I, I'll never forget. I'm this little small country church down in Alabama, and um, I'm 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 on the stage speaking, and I look up, and you and about five or six of my buddies uh, from our group were all sitting on the top row of the balcony, you know, or in the in the balcony up there. And just knowing those, I mean, that people are with you. I mean, it's like, yeah, that's that's so powerful. Uh, I, you, you you mentioned serving each other. I think serving together is another mm-hmm. tactical thing. That mm-hmm. If you want to really accelerate this kind of community, get your team together and go do something for somebody else together. Right. And, and, and another thing, it's a little bit of a together thing as well. Uh, I, I've always found when you take a retreat together or an off-site, the – that stuff starts to grow. So there's some, there are some intentional things you can do to foster some, especially if, mm-hmm. if this person that's asking if anybody out there feeling like we're, we're missing some of this mm-hmm. community part, there's some things you can do to accelerate that, but it needs to go on your calendar, your schedule. You gotta, you gotta begin to focus on it. If you really want to, you want to see that happen. Yeah. Any last word here? Well, just one little tactical thing we did years ago. I'm combining a couple of these ideas together. We did a retreat. And we told people to bring six to eight artifacts that would all fit in a paper bag okay. that helped represent who they were. Their story, basically, yeah. That's and great. we got there, and we gave people a morning. We gave them these plastic cubes, and we said, you're going to build a U-cube. Okay. Y-O-U. Yeah. And you're going to put these artifacts in there. We gave them all kind of art supplies and where they could glue stuff and stack stuff and mount stuff and whatever, whatever. You sound like a preschool teacher. And then <laughs> we spent the afternoon with each person presenting their U- Their story. How about cube. that? That's awesome. And then we took those back to the office and we displayed and them. them. And so that when guests would come or new team members would come, mm-hmm. they said, tell me about this, tell me about that. That was one of the coolest activities that kind of combines yeah, several great. of the things yeah. we just talked about. I love that. If you build those kind of relationships, you are positioned to lead well. No substitute for leading, yeah. but if you if you care about each other yeah. at that level of depth, leading is easier, yeah. not harder. That's so good. It's, it's a little bit of what you've always talked about, just time on task. I mean, you, you put time on this. It, it's not going to happen magically. It's like, you and, and by the way, I'll, I'll, I'll close with this thought. It doesn't happen just because you've been together a long time. No. I, mean, I, know, I know people who have been married to each other 40, 50 years. There's not an intimacy there if they've not tried it. And, and I know people who have been 15, 20 years in a, in a position – and they're just going through the motions, hoping they get to yeah. retire. Putting someday. people in a room doesn't make them a team. No, it's got to be. It's got to be. You got to put some some intentional thought into this. And and I hope you will. There's really no reason you can't do great work 
and enjoy the people you're doing that with. That, that really is, it's, it's a leadership deal. It's a decision a leader makes to say, we're going to build something great. We're going to build it together. That's what's going to make it even greater. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, not tomorrow. We got the weekend here. We'll, we'll see you Monday. That's right. We got we got a little couple of days off here. We'll be back on Monday for more of the Lead Every Day show. Remember, the best leaders lead every day. <laughs>